Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will tell you why cybersecurity professionals perform software reverse engineering. If you're wondering what reverse engineering is all about, take a look at another video on our channel where we discuss it. You can find the link to that video in the description box below. Meet Allison. She is a system administrator at Bell Holdings. This morning she installed an update on a video conferencing application across all machines on the network. As the day progressed and employees began using the video conferencing application, they reported seeing a message like this on their screen. A common pattern observed was, this dialog box was displayed right after employees ended their first call using the video conferencing application. Allison suspected that the update pushed earlier during the day may have been malicious. She immediately called the security team, who reverse engineered the update file. They confirmed that the update was indeed a malicious one. When an executable exhibits unusual behavior, the top priority is to confirm if it is malicious or not. Reversing that executable helps to identify the presence of malicious code, the triggers that enable its execution, and the full extent of its capabilities. For example, malware analysts may reverse engineer a malicious Windows executable and determine that it modifies the registry in order to execute at system boot time. Some malicious samples copy critical data from infected machines and transfer it to a server controlled by the adversary. Identifying critical information about a malware sample helps analysts propose techniques to detect that sample on a system and on the network. Analysts can also design antivirus signatures and devise strategies to eliminate the malware sample from a compromised machine. Let's talk about another scenario. Matt is a penetration tester at Salmon Security. A customer has requested that a firmware application be tested for security bugs. Matt's manager wants him to reverse engineer it and validate that the application is free from vulnerabilities before it can be deployed by the customer. In addition to following the typical penetration testing workflow, Matt also decided to use various reverse engineering tools and techniques to analyze the software application. Now, I will tell you how reverse engineering benefits penetration testing and red teaming engagements, as well as vulnerability research and exploitation. First, a security analyst would recover the architecture of the target application. This is the beginning of the reverse engineering activities. Then, each individual component can be analyzed and tested for vulnerabilities. Because software reverse engineering works at a code level, it may uncover vulnerabilities that traditional penetration testing techniques may miss. Are you excited to learn how software can be analyzed? Follow along with other videos on our channel where we teach software reverse engineering. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!